whenever there is a 40k game, uh, we'd have to decide which one. Are you talking about Deathwing? Which I'll, I'll show you like a, a little demo preview here in a second. But um, there's a lot of, like this one is first FPS. But the others are TTRPGs. So I don't know if you'd be interested in that. Um, there are it, the dice rolling is actually like more fundamental than like in Baldur's Gate three, because it it plays like the board game, not uh, it's it's just a digital version of the board game as opposed to Baldur's Gate three where it's like they remove some things. You know what I mean? What do I have in my cart? Oh, I see. I don't know, man. I mean, like, that's just... It's hard. I want to play games in every genre. But... I know that there's genres that I'm not going to like, but even whenever I don't like those genres, I want to experience those genres. You know what I mean? So, like, I know that I will never like puzzle games, but I kind of want to see what puzzle games have to offer. You know? I know that if I focus on turn-based tactical RPGs... Know what you mean, Vern? No, uh, I know that if I just start solely playing tactical RPGs, a Chris, who doesn't usually play that, he's going to be kind of like bored with it, and then I'll be stuck in that genre forever. Whenever I also like horror, FPS, JRPGs, there's too many games out there, and I don't ever really know which ones to fucking go after because I don't care about the popularity but I, there's a lot of games that I missed the boat on being poor and then those years I was in the army uh, until towards the end where I started streaming <laughs> so I don't know I think about this stuff all the time There's a lot of games that I like that I know that you guys will never like to watch. That's for damn sure. But I can't sit by myself off stream and complete a game. I haven't done that in... And if you're here to troll or bot, like I'm gonna just go ahead and are you gonna and do your thing or you just send an automated message about some bullshit? Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. All right. Anyways, Ginger, first of all, he called me a Ginger fucking pussy in a deleted message today. I'm not anywhere near Ginger. Anyways, like, um, Battletech. Or so. Yeah, I know. That may have not even been a bot. Like, he spoke way too much and was too insulting for a bot. Bots are only created generally to promote some kind of product or scam, you know? Noob at sex. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Whoop. Whatever. I'm not in the mood for trolls. Uh, But, like, Battletech. 
Um, it's a TTRPG where you take a mercenary group and you build mechs and stuff like that. But I still haven't beaten that game. I've been playing that game for hours. Let's see. Bidding just uh, absolutely fucking spanned with this shit now for literally no reason. It's just one of those things, I think. It's just a click of the button to me. It doesn't really matter. But like, you know, there's just, just some throwaway games. Like RimWorld. RimWorld didn't really, like, everyone who, like, was watching and stuff. Like, I love RimWorld, right? And Arion, you love RimWorld. But, like, do you really want to watch RimWorld? You know what I mean? I mean, you would, but is that, what do you want? Okay, so you, as a viewer, with your experience with what me and Chris have done, what do you, what would you want us to actually do? Like, generally. And it's not saying that I'm going to uh, Twitch mode. Hold on now. Space Hulk Deathwing Enhanced Edition Twitch mode? What the fuck does that mean? There's Twitch integration? What? Since when? Uh. Yeah, what, what, what are you, what are you talking about? All right. Do you mean that I cannot shift? And therefore I cannot enter my name? I cannot shift in this game to then use the... Why? What happens if I push enter? So is hold on, let me do this. Then go over here and then I cannot control Ah, oh, there it is. You see the workarounds that you have to do for something? It's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, so like, you, you know, there's these different classes, and I think even whenever you do multiplayer, like you can, um, you, you have NPCs for your lacking of things. Your victories aboard the but like, mean that we you know you're slow. Teleport. You can now access explored areas of the Alethros from here to complete additional missions. Can I uh, change my what? 
I don't know what this is. We're just going to walk into it. It's probably going to be uh, a terrible experience. Oh, it's chapter one. Brothers, you're being sent back to the Alethros in order to complete an urgent extra mission. Bring glory to the chapter. For the lion. This is not the class I want. Oh, there it is. There it is. So like there's uh there's six different classes and each class like as you play online you start on well I, I think in this game you can also unlock things uh single player but then there's Yeah, you can do your loadout. And, uh... I mean, assault cannons all the way, though, right? Scan this shipment of Phosphex so our tech adepts can determine its purity. It might be of great use. Let's see, like, your regular walking speed is very slow. I don't know what the, the Twitch thing is at all. But, um... Justice. Justice. As you're going through, you're constantly getting ambushed by uh, Tyranids, which are just like aliens. Uh, they've evolved through time, but the original concept... A Hulk Hogan for Space Hulk. <laughs> and you can like close doors and like, uh, and, like, see if it, yeah. you can like block it to where it, to where like, uh, it's a barricade so like they have to break it open. What is this? Give unlimited ammo for Terminators. Make all Terminators immortal. Oh, okay. So there's like voting things. That's cool. That's cool for Twitch. So I guess you guys could say A or B and it would count the votes? Do I have a way to explode this? I don't know. I'll go the long way around. Um, try hashtag. Hashtag A. Or hashtag B. Whatever. I, I mean, I have unlimited ammo right now, so that's kind of cool. Set the gene stealers color. Spawn explosive gene stealers. Oh, I see. That could be very interesting, uh, actually.
Who's that down there? Shooting at me. Uh oh, my controller died. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, come on, guys. Don't fucking let me die here. Right. All because my controller died. Hey, whoa, 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 calm down. In order to complete an urgent extra mission. It's just... Bring glory to the chapter. For the lion. Um, yeah, I mean... Magazine side 60. I don't know, but this is for play co-op, and um, apparently now there's that. What are you shooting at? No. Now this isn't story mode, this is just like random challenges and shit. I'm just like showing off kind of what it looks like. I have never beat the story mode of this game. It would be really cool. to do such a thing. Break all of Terminator's left arm. Break your right arm? <laughs> wow. They really uh, would just straight up just fuck you up, huh? can't shoot because uh, my right arm is broken. <laughs> Break the Terminator's legs. What kind of bullshit is that?
Now my legs are broken. My arm and leg are broken. What is, uh... Yeah, well, if no one votes, like, it'll pick just, like, whatever, I'm sure. But, like, I'm probably gonna die here. But, like, I mean, this is... Hey, you can kind of get the gist of what's happening. It's not exactly Vermintide or anything like that. Like, there's definitely more objectives than, like... Um, what's that fucking stupid left for game, left for dead and shit? And like Twitch mode obviously had a an impact there. But like, yeah, I've owned this game for at least seven fucking years. I just never got to fucking beat it play it and shit because it is mostly online unless I really just wanted to hang out with the fucking NPCs but that's like playing Left 4 Dead with fucking NPCs who the fuck does that you know Who the fuck's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna play Vermintide, or fucking, uh, World, uh, or what is it called? War, World War Z, or fucking Left 4 Dead, and I'm just gonna have the fucking NPC teammates, and it's gonna be fun. It's not gonna be fucking fun, it's gonna be fucking miserable. But unfortunately, in the world of Warhammer, that's what they decided to do. What's your opinion on RTS, though? You know there's a lot of co-op RTSs, right? Like, I'm all for picking and choosing, like, the games we play if we do multiplayer stuff um, at this point, but. Yeah. I mean, that's what we were trying to do before, and then what happened? You fucking changed your like we were i i was enjoying uh solaris or was it no uh sun what the fuck were you playing was it sons of the solar empire or solaris solaris that's what it is i was looking forward to fucking play that shit and then you okay that's right you went back to the office and then you worked on Sundays. You worked on Sundays? Because we were trying to do it Sunday mornings. Or or then, or was that whenever we were trying to change over? You had a second. Okay, that's right. And now, we went back to nights, and you can't stay up on Sundays. So... That's what's going on with that. But you are also trying to find a different job, which could, you know, change things for better or worse right there. I, I don't know if that's possible these days, Arion. To be quite honest with you, good sir.
Right. Well, like, here's here's my thing. I never really wanted to stop playing multiplayer games the way that we were playing multiplayer games. I mean, things happened, and, like, you got busy and all that shit. That's, that's one thing, right? But, like, if we can continue to try and get it to a point to where we can find a decent amount of time and a time to do it that is stable, like, you know, like, it's always preferable. Because I, I, you know, I tried that with Pagan and Sauce, and then Sauce couldn't, whatever fucking excuse he had going on. Uh, and in which your case, it wasn't really an excuse as far as it was a reason. But in his case, he was just like, yeah, I'm hanging out with my wife. And like, that's, but then scheduling that he was going to be somewhere on a specific time and then never showing up on that time. That is an excuse. Having work or something like that, that is a reason. Anyway, so he was handing out excuses. And then Pagan's computer was like always fucking broken and then he didn't have a stable job and was moving all over the place. So that, that whole multiplayer thing fell through. And Chris can only do so much with that fucking piece of shit laptop over there that I spent fucking more than I spent on my original fucking computer on. And now it's just running like shit. So, you are, like, prime suspect number one to try and do something that is on a regular schedule and reliable to do and fun to do with. Because there's so many games. There's so many experiences that, that are robbed uh, in just a single player thing. Well, I mean, okay, so as far as the job goes, like, are you... Like, do you have any promising leads of anything? Or are you just, like, determined? Like you're starting to look at different things, or you know, you you know what I mean. Nothing concrete. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, Dorshet, you're not out of this conversation either. Like, I just don't think that you uh, like playing games as much as other people do. Like, we, we did some stuff on uh, Minecraft, but then, like, you didn't really seem like you had much interest in doing anything else. So, that's not to leave you out, but, like, that's the reason. I wish that Crash could um, get his shit together. Because he's actually really enjoyable to play with whenever he's not having a mental crisis. But not to spread his business around anybody, but it's not like you guys talk to him. But he has uh, muscle dystrophy and a slew of... Uh, mental anguish problems 
that makes it hard for him to concentrate and focus on the task. Uh, and it's gotten worse over the years. I've known Crash and some, like Dorsha, I don't know if you know of him or not, but like he and I used to be, that was my co-op partner for years. I've known him since Xbox 360 and every multiplayer game that I've owned, he and I almost exclusively played with. But then he has went a little overboard in recent years and it's made it very hard to talk to him. Yeah, well, okay, so not many games that you own are multiplayer, but do you want to change that? Because if we're just talking about making content, like, I don't mind if it's feasible to put something together to have a full party of something to, to play. Now, if that's not something that interests you, like, that's fine, too. But, like, I've been very bored with all of this, and I have thought about quitting for the past two fucking years. Right. Well, I mean, you know our schedule. So you know what it would be like. I don't think you've disappeared that much uh, during the night hours in, in which um, she has had many issues. And you're up with us most of the time anyways. I don't know, I'm just kind of throwing stuff out there for like, you know, maybe taking the streaming and, and like content aspect away from it and just trying to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, as far as improving anything, like, I've given up. I'm really, really, truly at my wit's end about um, trying to be good at this. And I have considered stopping so many fucking times. Especially with the amount of effort that we've put in uh, in the past. And actually trying, you know, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch and, you know, all this stuff. And it's just, it's not, it's not nothing's hitting. So, like, yeah. But, like, whenever new people come in. That in this day and age, you went into a day and age where things were like good. And now I don't view what we're doing right now as good. And it's made me almost resentful uh, to, to try and continue to do this and not get anything out of it. So now I'm trying to like change my priorities for it. And just do stuff that I have not, things that I've wanted to do for a long time but haven't been able to, rather than trying to please people, if that makes sense. 
And while we've been playing these games that I either have been bored with or not enjoyed or this, that, and the other, people come in and like, yeah, you know, we, we kind of do our, our thing, but then they just kind of disappear. I don't know if that's our fault or that's just the way of the world at this point. Um, because in, you know, I was looking at the stats and last year people stuck around. We had an actual audience. People were like supporting and like this year it's been really fucking rough. It's been rough to stay motivated and to even turn this shit on or talk to anybody. Yeah, that's true too. And I, I think that I'm kind of outgrowing a lot of the majority of the audience for Twitch. And by growing, I mean mentally growing. Um... Because, like, you know, I don't really, I don't want to get into politics. I don't want to fucking get into race speech about anything. Like, I don't care about any of that shit. I don't care if you're, what color you are. I don't care what you fucking stick your dick in. Like, I don't fucking care, you know? I just want to play games and, like, do stupid shit that may be off the cuff, but, like, I don't fucking care. Like, if I, the fact that you can go into Red Dead Redemption and fucking hit a feminist in the face and then get in trouble for that in real life is ridiculous to me. Because it's not that you hate fucking women. Maybe you're just wanting to do something fucking stupid. And isn't that what games is? Like, just kind of, like, either accomplishing something or trying to do something stupid? Like, it's one or the other, right? Like that isn't that what games are for? Even if it's offensive, like who the fuck cares, dude? It's a fucking digital content. In Baldur's Gate, right now, I can launch this shit open. I can pick up that kid that like picks pockets you, and you can just throw him in the fucking ocean if you wanted to. And kill a kid. No one's getting in trouble for that shit. <laughs> but like, the topics of which people get super fucking butthurt about is just, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Fucking around to having to find out. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Just. Like, um, I'm. Uh, Chris was surprised. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a given, especially now. But, like, that's the thing. That's the Twitch audience is, like, these younger guys and, or people. And, like, that makes sense, right? Like, it, it's. It totally makes sense that that's the thing. And that's... Generally, everyone who watches me is over 30. Just like me. And that makes sense, too. But, like... Or at least close to 30. You know what I mean? Um... But like I, I'm kind of waiting for the day to uh, like Chris. I don't know who was here during um, Metal Gear Solid Two. Yeah, MGS Two. Um, <laughs> I don't remember her name, but you had to save this chick, and she was doing some stupid shit. I beat the fuck out of this girl, and like Chris was like, "I'm surprised we didn't get banned for that." I'm like. 
I, I don't know. Like, it's weird to be able to get banned for things that happen in a content, in a digital content that you are fucking around in. Like, if you took, okay, in Oblivion, the uh, the fan, right? People take him, and they drag him on top of a mountain, and then they, like, throw him off the mountain, you know, this way or that way, another. And, like, that's fine for some reason. But, like, anything that has to do with the current political agenda, and you do anything that's, like, kind of fucked up, you know? Like... You're banned, or you're fucking, you know, like, it just doesn't, I don't know. I I don't understand why it's such a big deal, and why people get so in their feelings about everything. I'm afraid, not afraid, I, I'm not afraid, but in a sense, you know, I suspect that, like, at any given point, we could just fucking, dis any time tonight, Fucking drinking and some of the shit that we've said, like, that's reasons to get banned. And so, like, I, I'm not really attached to what's happening anymore, like, as far as what we can get banned for or not, because we've already done so many things. And people don't like it, so we don't get popular. Yeah. Yeah, or like trying to make it in a, a a real sense. Now I don't know, like uh, especially like the Red Dead Redemption guy who <laughs> like really did whatever to that feminist or whatever. I don't know exactly the details. There might be that during that time he was saying something that was also fucked up, but it's all very nuanced, I guess. Like it's up to the right people to decide what is offensive or some shit. So no one's really safe. So I don't really care anymore. That was my point. I think that everything we have said has been justified in some way or another in a sense of either we're just fucking around trying to make people laugh or, you know, it's not like we have specifically said that we would like to do this blank and in real life or whatever. I think that should be, if there should be any punishment, that should be the standard the the bottom line of where punishment should start and not just being punished for like doing some stupid random shit that you think would be funny for a minute. <coughs> Meanwhile, I have real problems, like my kid fucking hoarding trash of snack foods in his fucking shelves for the fucking third time after being warned and punished beforehand for doing that exact same thing and not knowing what to do elsewhere. In a sense, I just wanted this to be fun again, and fun for me again specifically. And I don't really care um, about anybody else, and they're wanting to view anything at this point. Um, now, if it's multiplayer, 
or co-op, obviously, I want the other person to also be interested in such a thing. I don't know, man. Because I'll tell you right now, Arion, Outward was never fun. Not one moment of that game was actually fun. <laughs> I hated it so fucking much. Everything about it was a goddamn chore. I mean, I, I, I didn't... I Okay, so whenever it comes to For the King, I viewed it as a challenge, not that it was fun. I viewed it that this is a hard game. I want to be smarter than this game, and I want to beat it. Not that this game is totally fun, and everything about it is enjoyable, and I'm... No, that was never part of it for me. So... It was just that I view this as a challenge that I want to overcome because I don't think many people have. And I still don't think many people have beaten that fucking game because that game is fucking bullshit. So I don't blame you for not having fun in that game because I wasn't super enjoying it either. I just accepted that it was very hard and that I wasn't going to let that fucking game beat me and we let that game beat us so you know we 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 were defeated we we were defeated by that game there's no way around it it went on the list of unbeaten games which is a very small list I'm just hanging out for like another 15 minutes, so I don't want to get like involved in anything. Yeah, I I mean, I accept. Now, Dorchette seemed like he enjoys that game. I don't see how, because every fucking time we tried to do anything, we got our shit fucking pushed in. And then every time we found something rewarding, we would go to the next area and they would be two levels above us. But, I mean, like, I, I still want to do game requests. I think the polls... For the most part, the polls are done. I, I don't think they're really going to come back in the way that they were before. I didn't play that one game. For the King? You knew so much about it. What do you mean you didn't play it? Is that what game you're talking about? Oh, out, outward, you mean? <sighs> right. Do you think the challenge rating has increased with multiplayer since you did it by yourself? See, Dorchette seemed like he liked for the king, though. So, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things. fight as a team the whole time i mean it is i i would say that it would probably be easier to have full control over the entire team so that you can actually devise a strategy that would uh co be completely cohesive to your specific goal i mean we made it to the very end two times and got our shit pushed in. So, uh, I don't know. 
Like, it, it was not even, like, close. Seem worse than bad luck? Like, calculated bad luck, you mean? I mean, yeah, but you were also focused only on your roles, but none of us were ever, like, consistently having good roles. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you were having bad roles, and then sometimes we would have lucky roles, but, like, generally everyone was having bad roles. There's a reason why we completely lost all the time, you know? It wasn't just you <laughs> not having bad roles, not having good roles. But like even uh, Baldur's Gate, Divinity, Divinity Two, you know, like pick one of those fucking TTRPGs, you know, that are multiplayer. If you are in complete control of that game, it is way easier than playing multiplayer, just because. It's all connected to one mind that sets up the plan for the entire group and not four minds or two minds setting up the plan. So I imagine that For the King is similar. That you're like, okay, I want to specialize in this one type of fighting thing and this person's going to be good at this. I do think it is absolute bullshit that in For the King, they constantly rise, raise the prices of fucking standard health potions. Get the fuck out of here. That was bullshit. That was the one part. The inflating prices, especially after clearing a fucking area and them having no reason to inflate those prices to then still inflate the prices. That's stupid. Now, I would say also, though, that there is an option in the game to turn that down. But it's in, like, it makes easy mode. But I, I don't think the standard should punish you that badly for such a thing, you know what I mean? What is uh the original divinity look like? Are they third person or they look like a third person RPG? Oh, you turn into a dragon. It's completely different, and it's not a TTRPG. It's an open-world fantasy RPG. I see. Uh, I'm gonna hit the bed. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much done now too. Yeah, so next year, um, I think we are going to do the uh, full custom uh, character roster, and then we'll have the finals, and then whoever's in the finals can have a chance to beat Inferno, and then we'll see how that goes. That's what we'll do. Uh, so that there's a little bit more of, like, not the basic thing. Like, we, it'll be the evolution of what we're doing and not just the same thing that we've been doing. At least have some memes or, you know, characters that are, f like, familiar characters and this, that, and the other, you know? 
there's not many games out there to do something like this in. Um, it was it was fun for what it is. It ended a lot earlier than what it usually does. We could also increase the roster greatly because of that one particular thing. The custom characters and not the standard characters. So, I don't know. Could be cool. But we, we, we got a while to think about that. It also went by a lot faster than usual. So I, I'm kind of curious on what that's all about. Because usually by now I'm throwing up or something. But, um, I'm myself pretty much done, and I think I'm probably going to end it, because it's not like we're doing shit anyways. And then next week, we will actually give a real attempt at Dead Space here, um, and, and see how that goes. And that's another thing of me just trying to beat something for the sake of beating it. Uh, Thursday. That's the next stream. And that's me and Arion playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> um, otherwise, Dorchette, good night. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoy all your fucking new points that you could totally choose what games we play for the next fucking like year and a half. Uh, Arion, if you're still there, I know you sure are going to sleep, but if you just have it turned on, good night. Uh, Quantum, I don't know. You haven't said anything, so I assume that you're not around. <sighs> but that's it. Farewell. Be back later. Got shit to do.